Centralingua.com. <laughs> Marie in the Marrow Once there was an old woman who lived with her two dogs, Lalu and Balu. Her only daughter lived on the other side of a forest, far away. One day she told her dogs, It's time for me to visit my daughter. Stay here until I return. She packed her bag and went on her way. She hadn't gone far into the forest when she met a fox. Burry, burry, I want to eat you, he snarled. Oh, fox, you don't want to eat a thin burry like me. Wait until I return from my daughter's, then I'll be nice and fat. Burry, burry, when you return, I shall eat you, snarled the fox. The old woman continued her journey until she met a tiger. Burry, burry, I want to eat you, he growled. Oh, tiger, you don't want to eat a thin burry like me. Wait until I return from my daughter's, then I'll be nice and fat. Burry, burry, when you return, I shall eat you, growled the tiger. The old woman went on her way again, until she met a lion. Burry, burry, I want to eat you, he roared. Oh, lion, don't want to eat a thin burry like me. Wait until I return from my daughter's, then I'll be nice and fat. Burry, burry, when you return, I shall eat you, roared the lion. At last, the old woman arrived at her daughter's house. Oh, daughter, what a terrible journey I've had. First I met a fox, and then a tiger, and then a lion. They're all waiting to eat me. Don't worry, mother. We'll think of something. But first, you must rest and have some food, answered her daughter. The old woman stayed with her daughter for three months. During that time, she was given so much to eat that she became nice and fat and round. When it was time to go home, the old woman asked her daughter, What shall I do? All the animals are waiting to eat me. Come, mother, I have a plan, answered the daughter and went into the garden. There she picked the largest marrow she could find, cut off the top, and hollowed it out. Climb in. Then I'll push the marrow, and it will roll you home. Goodbye, mother. Goodbye, daughter, answered the old woman as they hugged each other. The daughter sealed the marrow and gave it a push. As it rolled along, Burry quietly sang. Marrow turning round and round, we are rolling homeward bound. When it reached the lion, he roared, Marrow, you are big and juicy, but I'm waiting for my burry, and he gave it a push. As she rolled along, burry sang, Marrow turning round and round, we are rolling homeward bound. When it reached the tiger, he growled, Marrow, you are big and juicy, but I'm waiting for my burry. And he gave it a push. And as the marrow rolled along, burry sang, Marrow turning round and round, we are rolling homeward bound. But when it reached the fox, he looked at it and snarled, Marrow, you're big and juicy, but I know you're hiding my burry. And the fox pounced onto the marrow and tore it apart. Inside he found the old woman. Burry, burry, I'm going to eat you, he snarled. 
poor fox, before you eat me, please let me see my home again, pleaded the old woman. Burry, burry, I will let you see your home, said the fox. When they reached the old woman's house, she screamed, Lalu, Balu, save me, save me. The two big dogs raced out and chased the fox, who ran and ran until he got away. When he stopped, he sighed. Burry, burry, you got the better of me. Now all I have is marrow for my tea. As for the old woman, she was never troubled by the fox again. <laughs>